Okay, so we're going to get started with this fly. It's uh, basically an Everglades version of a mother minnow, which is a freshwater trout fly. They use it for other species too, but... Um, so I'm going to tie this in with a saltwater hook, of course. This is a... I think it's an owner mosquito hook. It's got a wide gap, but it's real short shanked, so it's really good for this fly. I'm just using some flat waxed white thread. And I like it because it's strong. It won't uh, break when you tighten down on it when you're doing the, the deer hair part. Okay, the first step is tying in, uh, actually starting at the bend of the hook, I tie in a piece of monofilament. It's uh, 20 pound. You could use really anything that's, I'd say the, the lightest you'd want to use is 20 pound, but you could go up to 40 or even 60. It's just to make a loop in the back beyond the bend of the hook to keep the tail of the fly from from uh, fouling, from hooking around the point of the hook, like swinging around when he casts. So you just make a loop, really easy. So she's a loop that's beyond the bend of the hook. Okay, so this is that, that loop. I think they call it a snarfle. It's kind of a goofy word. Um, but it's just a loop of monofilament at the bend of the hook, and that'll keep, when I tie in the tail, it'll keep it from wrapping around the hook, the hook point. So. Okay, so this is the going to be the tail of the fly. It's uh, EP Fibers. I like it because it, when you cast it, it sheds the water really easily. So I just tie that in right here. Let me shorten that a little bit. The loose ones first. And you can see now that how that, that loop will help keep this from wrapping around like that. Okay, so this is, um, I think they call it, it's flash, it's flashy stuff. I think they call it hollow fusion. It doesn't really matter. I mean, any kind of shiny stuff to put, you know, because you're trying to make a fly that looks like a minnow. So we want some flash in there. Okay, so I'm, I'm tying in these uh, neck hackles. It's like a you know, chicken feather. And I'm just going to do two of them. And it's just kind of to fill in the gap between the tail and the head of the fly. It's going to be made of deer hair. So you just tie it in by the, by the quill, the thick end. Tie it in. And then the fun part is to wrap it. I'm just filling that in. It'll make sense when I put the, the deer hair on there. Okay, so the next step is I'm going to tie in some of this deer body hair. It's uh, dyed red, of course. And I just get a pinch. I don't do a lot of the red. Mostly the head's going to be made of white, but um, it's good to have that red in there for the, the gill plate. Pull this kind of fluffy stuff out of the base. Okay, can you get Bears. <clears throat> okay, and then push it all back and do a couple wraps in front of it. Okay, then uh, the next step, and there's just two steps left, is to tie in the, the white. This is actually tan. I think it's it's actually elk hair. <laughs> That's what I could find, but it'll work for the head. And you tie it in the same way, of course, as the red. Just overlap it, and then just wrap it in the middle, and then it flares like that. Of course, we'll give this a haircut in a few minutes. It won't be all bushy like that. It's about that much. And then lay it on top. Flare it. The fun part, and then actually, the fun part is trimming it. Then, the last step besides trimming is tying in a, a whip finish, and it's just a, a series of knots kind of on top of each other. And it's such a good knot that you don't even have to glue it if you do a whip finish. 
Okay, now for the fun part, um, the trimming. So first of all, before I do the, the head, this bothers me that how it's cut off like that. So the best way to trim this material is to just kind of thin it out from the back like that. Instead of cutting it straight across, it'll kind of kill the action of the fly in a, a bit. So pull some of that stuff out and then it tapers better. Okay, now I'll flip it around. You always want to make sure you get rid of this, all this hair underneath because you've got to expose the hook point so you can actually hook fish. And then, then I trim it in reverse like this. And then turn it. And turn it. There it is, Duke's Diver. Okay, so we're gonna get started with this fly. Um, it's like a, uh, <laughs> it's cut.